On this episode of Designing Spaces Luxury Edition, a roofing company that can handle any project, small or large. HVAC repair to keep you cool through the Florida summers, plus quality landscape design. All of this and so much more coming up on Designing Spaces Luxury Edition. Mark and his family have been living under the same roof for over two decades. And now that two of his daughters are off to college, with the youngest following next year, it's time to make some necessary renovations, and that means a total roof makeover. We've been at this home for 21 years, and it's a really special place for us. Uh, you know, our kids grew up here. Uh, since my youngest daughter was, uh, you know, one years old is when we moved into this house and uh, it's just been a, a special place that's filled with memories and we plan on being here for a long time to come. Our house was built in 1997 um, and obviously through the years we've had many storms come by. In particular Hurricane Wilma did a real number on our roof and uh, we were having our house repaired then at that point from some of the hurricane damage. Uh, and since that time, you know, there's been a couple times where it's popped up and there's been leaks in certain areas of the home. Um, and that's gotten progressively worse over the last few years uh, to the point where literally I've walked in a couple of times and there's been raining in my butler's pantry and a few of the other areas of the house and all of a sudden, you know, we're pulling out buckets and stuff because there's leaks that are, that are coming inside the home. With leaks and broken shingles, it's time to bring in the professionals. Jason Blair from Astro Roofing knows when it's time to repair and when it's time to replace. Most people don't realize that a roof is probably the biggest investment you're gonna make in your property and uh, potentially outside of buying a house. So um, the roof actually protects everything underneath it. I would say it's very important to get a roofing contractor, a certified licensed roofing contractor that's reputable to come out to your property, inspect your roof before you do any interior renovations the so last thing you want to do is spend thousands of dollars renovating the interior of your home and then find out you have a leak and you're going to have to redo some of that work and potentially spend thousands of dollars fixing your roof as well. So some of the signs that may show you need a new roof would be roofing debris laying in your yard, maybe uh, roofing debris or granule surface material laying at the bottom of your downspouts. Usually after a storm, it, you want to look for some type of roof damage. Um, any type of high wind situation, you would definitely want to look for wind damage. And especially in South Florida, roofs that last um, a long time in other parts of the country typically aren't going to last that long in South Florida just because of the weather. And insurance also becomes a problem because insurance companies want you to switch your roof out roughly about every 20 years. So shingle roof systems can last 40, 50 years in other parts of the country. Usually we say it's about a 30 year lifespan here in Florida. Tile roofs can go 20 to 30 years. We always suggest after 20 years before repairing a tile roof, you should consider replacing. And a uh, metal roof kind of that same time frame, 20 to 30 years. When researching a roofing company, I would definitely suggest to not just stop at the first page of Google. A lot of people just Google, you know, roofing company near me, something to that effect, you know, a nice keyword, my roof leaks, how do I fix it? I always say, if you're considering hiring a roofing company, some of the things you should consider other than what's written online is maybe visit the roofing company's place of business. Um, Research everything, not just the good stuff, but try to dig up dirt on the roofing company. Look, if roofing companies are big and they do a lot of work, there's bound to be a little bit of dirt. But what we wanna see is how a roofing company reacts to negative reviews by a customer. For us, to be four star rated or something like that, that might be fine for other roofing companies, but that to me means that one out of every five customers is not happy. A lot of homes in South Florida are in a homeowners association, which would require um, board approval for an aesthetic change. So if we're gonna replace your roof, if, if you decide to replace your roof, then you will need approval from your homeowners association. It's typically a form that you have to fill out and then we submit a sample of the tile that you're considering using and they approve it and then we submit it to the city for the permit process. 
Another thing that um, is kind of difficult in South Florida as opposed to the rest of the country is the permit process. Just because of the hurricanes and the codes that are put into place in South Florida, it's a little bit more stringent than everywhere else in the country, which drives up pricing a little bit, um, but it also, I think, puts a better product out in, um, to, to combat those, those wind events that we typically have a few times a year, even outside of hurricanes. Florida typically sees high wind events at least a couple times a year. What I'm most excited about is having our roof done is first and foremost is that the, the, the color that came with the roof when we first bought the house was not my favorite color. It's a green roof and, and quite candidly is that the green roof limits us in our ability to paint the house very many colors. We're really uh, relegated to yellow or a form of yellow. And so I am really uh, excited about the fact that it's gonna beautify the home and give us lots of options to update and refresh the home. And then besides that, I'm excited about the fact that we won't have leaks waking up in the, you know, there's a storm and next thing you know, you hear dripping in the house and, uh, and the protection from, you know, the hurricanes in the future to have a house that actually has a, a modernized roof that's less susceptible to, you know, having more damage done in, in, in a storm. So we originally met with Mark a few months back and he was having issues with his roof leaking. He lives in a beautiful area in Boca Raton, Florida, be beautiful home. So we came out, we found that some of his flashing was leaking and, and a, a kind of an intricate, complicated area on his roof. His roof is more than 20 years old. So he, we sat down, we had a conversation about should we replace, should we fix it? Um, what, what do you think we should do? Mark made the decision to go ahead and replace the roof because of the age. And you know, he's got a beautiful house. He wants to protect the property, obviously protect it for the coming storm season. And what happened was he was having leaking coming into the, so when it rained, it was basically raining in his house. The city of Boca Raton is one of the more difficult municipalities to traverse as far as the permitting and inspection process goes. They're very stringent on um, their process and it's kind of unique to the rest of the area. So they don't just let anybody come in and, and do work. And even the products that we use here have to be very specific products that have passed engineering and certain testing. So they have to go through special testing to be able to use products in the city of Boca Raton. We're so excited to start this project, but first we've got to narrow down the design. Coming up, we'll choose colors and style. Welcome back. Before the break, we met Mark, a homeowner who's ready for a new roof. Crown Tile has stepped in with tons of tile colors and options for him to choose from. The first part of the process of picking the kind of roof that we wanted uh, was also looking at what was the most, uh, uh, what was the roof that would fit our, our neighborhood and also the motif of our, our particular house, right? The style of our house, we're, more, we're, we're a Mediterranean home, so we didn't want to move too far away from that, but we wanted to modernize kind of the look of the house. So we went through a brochure and got some ideas of things that we liked. From that point, he suggested that we actually order some samples of the tile and uh, that way we could actually, you know, instead of looking at it in a photo, I'd actually see the tile. So we got a sampling of the tile that came in. Uh, we got a chance to take that tile and kind of walk around our neighborhood a little bit and see other homes that had similar types of roofs and see how that tile married up when you looked at it actually on a roof itself. Some of the roofing materials that homeowners have here in the state of Florida, specifically South Florida, would be ranging from concrete roof tile, clay roof tile, shingles, and metal. Primarily here in the state of Florida, you're gonna see more of a concrete roof tile and a clay roof tile specific to the south. I think uh, you see this specific profile in South Florida because people are looking for that Mediterranean Spanish style look and that's exactly what this particular tile fits that look, whether that be clay or concrete. Ultimately, the barrel tile is what's very popular here in South Florida. When it comes to picking out a tile, um, obviously I know I have several options. I mean, we have more of a Mediterranean style home, as you can see. And so how do I go through the selection process? What do you recommend? Well, basically the thing that's, that you're gonna wanna do is narrow down what colors that you're interested in. Okay. Obviously, Mediterranean can vary anywhere from the browns into the terracottas and the reds, uh, just depending upon what the look you're going for is. Okay. Um, you kinda just need to scale in relation to the color itself. And then once you have a color selected, then we would send out samples to you 
and you would basically narrow down your selection based off of what we send to you. Got it. There's different sizes. Ultimately, there's what's called a standard S tile, which is a larger barrel. Okay. And then there's what's called a mid-range tile, which is uh, basically a double roll, okay. and it's just a smaller tile. Uh, this is part of our Sanibel still. And Are these this smaller roll tiles. This would be the smaller roll tiles here. Okay. And as we move into Sanibel, is those are larger rolls or? That's correct. That's correct. So San Sanibel is going to be your more traditional uh, S tile, the larger barrel. Got it. And this is going to be a smaller uh, S tile, mainly meant for uh, for a house this size. I would say most people are going to go with a larger barrel just because okay. it's a little more of a grand Got look it. to it. We do a lot of things that we feel like makes our product better. Uh, in relation to where we're, we're sourcing our materials from, our sand, our cement, our, uh, our oxides, which is the, what gives it the color. Uh, we feel that it gives it a more vibrant color and a better look. Uh, also, it lends itself to a better quality product at the end of the day as well. We also put a highly concentrated sealer over the top of the tile uh, so that it helps protect the color of the tile that much longer. And it, and it lends itself to a better looking tile when it's installed. Now that Mark has chosen his tile and design, Astro Roofing can begin the first phase of the project, tearing off the old roof. Once we remove the underlayment, we can see the damage to the wood decking, the damage to the fascia, the wood trim, the siding and flashing areas. That's when we can understand exactly how much wood replacement that would be necessary to complete the job. It's probably one of our number one issues when replacing a roof is communicating the wood replacement because we don't know how much wood there may be to replace or how much bad wood there may exist in your home. So we're considering a standard amount typically. So roofing companies typically give you a certain amount of wood replacement included in their proposal, but we can never tell how much wood that there's actually going to be when we finish tearing off the roof. It's time for the best part, installation. With the help of ABC Supply, we've gathered all the materials needed to start. So the underlayment is very important just because for one, it keeps your house waterproof, 100% waterproof. That's what keeps the water from coming into your property. The, the tile on top is really protecting that underlayment itself. So when we're choosing an underlayment, you wanna make sure that you choose the right underlayment. The reason we chose Tag and Stick is because it's a premium style product. It's modified and it's synthesized so that it will stand up to the test of time what we're looking for. This is a great product, it has a 30 year guarantee, it has great exposure rating. While we're waiting for tile, for instance, if we have a storm and we have to wait six months, for instance, for tile, Tag and Stick would be a good, good product as it stands up to that exposure rating. Also, as far as application wise, it's user friendly to install and it decreases the margin of error for our installers. Coming up, the big reveal. We show Mark his beautiful new roof. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Astro Roofing is putting on the last few tiles, which means it's almost time to show Mark his brand new roof. All right, so let's check it out. Okay. You got your brand new crown, Florida blended roof. So it's a three color blend. You can see the eave the eave closure matches beautifully. Um, everything turned out really good. Uh, the mortar work looks nice. This um, is just incredible. I mean, look at the beauty of this roof. It's a complicated house, man. It's yeah. a, you have a big, beautiful house. Uh -huh. I mean, it's a lot of ins and outs, a lot of intricacies involved with the roof itself. And to build <laughs> this correctly, is, you know, it's, wow. it's not easy and it can turn into a nightmare if you don't have the right guys out here. So I'm really glad that it, it, it turned out how we thought it was going to. And I'm glad you're happy. I mean, this that's the main thing. This is just incredible. I mean, when I look at this roof, it's it just changes the whole look of the house. Like, you know, we obviously need to still paint the home and do some things there, but just by putting a new roof on, it almost looks like we just, we, we painted the house and we did a bunch of new stuff, well, right? You definitely increase the value yeah. tremendously. And your insurance premiums are definitely gonna go, go down right away, okay. so you start getting benefits from that. Um, the roof is probably gonna be a little bit more energy efficient because we vented it properly okay. as well. And this is a 50 year roof. You okay. Know, you, be difficult to get that out of South Florida, right? But realistically, to get somewhere between 30 and 40 years with proper roof maintenance and care, I think that's where you you'll end up here. And you guys that. knocked it out of the park on this, so thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank I, you. I appreciate you, thank man. You. I appreciate your thank team. You, Mark. Thanks a lot. Wow, this is incredible. And just like that, Astro Roofing, along with ABC Supply and Crown Tile, took this old broken roof and made it brand new. If you'd like more information or are looking for a roofing consultation, 
visit astroroofing.com or watch this segment again at designingspaces.tv. Floridians know how important our ventilation and air conditioning systems are. We need them to be reliable, functional, and long-lasting, right? So let's meet the family from HiVac Air Conditioning Services, who have been doing this for generations. I'm the owner of HiVac Air Conditioning. Uh, I started in the industry in 1976. We are comfort specialists with, through the trade manufacturer. Um, we specialize in high-end equipment high efficiency equipment, inverter technology, which takes a lot of humidity out of the house. That's our specialty. My dad and I have been working together since about 2014. I started full time, came on board. I love the industry, love being a mechanic. So my sister, Samantha, started uh, roughly five years ago. And I'm so thankful because now she's running the office. Without her, we wouldn't be where we are today. We are a member of the ACA Association, which is a, uh, Air Conditioning Contractors of America, and we abide by a code of ethics. When it comes to in-home comfort, it's not just about how hot or cold it is. Peter explains. Well, here in South Florida, our biggest concern is humidity. If you uh, take two houses at the same temperature, one house being lower humidity and the other house has higher humidity, you feel uncomfortable with a lot of humidity at the same temperature. Making sure that the air we breathe is clean is essential to living in South Florida. Before you think that fixing your HVAC is a DIY project, think again. They are also very fluent in repairing and servicing higher end AC equipment, which can be the best choice for comfort and efficiency. We don't want to just be the run of the mill. Anybody could kind of get up there and uh, throw in any unit. You get off the streets. Air conditioning is conditioning the air you're in, not just throwing in some piece of equipment and hoping for the best. We offer a what we call a PPMA. It's a peak performance maintenance agreement. And we go twice a year to your house before winter time if you're going to run your heater. And that's very important because you want to be safe running your heater. And then in the springtime before summer comes and we clean out the units and make sure they're always working at peak performance. Our maintenance agreements are like getting oil changes on your car. You're never going to go months without getting your car tuned up, changing the oil, changing the air filter, making sure that your car is running good because it's something you use every day. I know it goes under the radar, but so is your air conditioning. Down here in South Florida, we use our AC about 365 days out of the year, and it goes unnoticed because it's just something you walk into. The importance of this is you get longevity, you get no costly repairs, hopefully, uh, and just an extension of life and an energy bill as well. Keeping up with it, making sure the filter's clean and that it's breathing easy. Uh, these are all very important factors. The air you breathe is important, and Peter and his family are up to date on the latest technology. Everything we have here, we test in-house. Uh, we're very up to date on the indoor air quality that we use. Uh, UV lights, eye waves, uh, ionizers, and purifiers for the homes. Um, we think it's very important just for the allergy sake and just for being in a healthy environment uh, for your kids and your family and, and, just, and just for peace of mind at the house. They have great relationships with their vendor partners and are ready when you are. And even when you're not, they offer free in-home consultations for replacements. If your unit is over 10 years old and you're thinking that you are paying high electricity bills or you're, you're uh, getting a lot of service calls to repair things and replace parts, I suggest you to consider replacing the unit with a you know, high efficiency unit that's gonna save you electricity, give you the 10 year parts and labor warranty. So you're, you know, you're worry free for 10 years and you got yourself a good piece of equipment and you could depend, that you could depend on. It's almost unsustainable to go more than a few days without AC down here. So that's why we pride ourselves on getting there and being reliable and making sure that we're always answering the phones. Want to know more about HiVac Air Conditioning Services or their apprentice program? Visit HiVacAir.com or DesigningSpaces.tv. Here in South Florida, the growing season is all year long. 
so lawns and landscaping need continuous maintenance. Commercial landscape maintenance for businesses are important for multiple reasons. Uh, first impression, your customer or client's first impression of your building uh, is nine out of 10 times landscape related. So aesthetically pleasing businesses, enticement uh, makes your business look more professional. For a business, lawns, landscaping, and parking lots need to be kept neat and safe. A lot of our job is to really educate our clientele on the proper horticultural technique and find that happy medium, the balance between what they expect as far as aesthetically pleasing and what we are going to provide in a horticulturally uh, sound manner. Country clubs are a special case. They have huge areas of landscaping and it should always look perfect. Landscape maintenance at a country club are going to differ from normal commercial landscape maintenance uh, due to the expectation of their patrons. The country club landscape includes planters, beds, and hedges that should always look their best. In regards to bed maintenance, uh, first and foremost, weed control is the most important, um, you know, because they can overtake a, a, a landscape bed and then all of a sudden you lose your mulch or your rock and it's not aesthetically pleasing. Nunez Lawn Care and Landscaping has teams spread across Florida, following a tight schedule that keeps commercial properties looking well-groomed. When it comes to operations, um, you know, your core services would entail your basic mowing, edging, uh, line trimming, and hedge trimming. It's very important to keep these on a regular basis. Lawns need care, and because the growing season is year-round, so are pests and invasive weeds. In commercial landscape, uh, scope of work packages that we put together, we always use an agronomics program, which would include uh, turf and ornamental spraying of uh, pest and uh, weed control as well as fertilization. Today, these trees are being beautified by Nunez landscapers. Trained specialists will shape these palm trees to not only look good, but grow healthy new fronds. It is important to prune them and prune them to the correct horticultural position, which is nine and three, which means uh, like the face of a clock, the lowest palm fronds should be at nine and three, like on a clock. They shouldn't be any higher. A lot of companies, they call it hurricane pruning, they lift higher. It's very detrimental to the health of the tree. Um, it takes too much nutrients from it. Those trees get their nutrients from the palm frond. As a family-owned business, licensed and bonded, Nunez Lawn Care and Landscaping provides high-quality, year-round service. I'm always making sure our, our, our client is um, happy with the service. I'm always uh, ahead of the people, making sure that we do what we need to do, and I'm always making sure that uh, everything we do is in a safe way, and I really love what I do. From modest beginnings 15 years ago to the company that has landscaping teams around the state, Cristal and Mario Nunez know the importance of treating employees with respect and care. The, the employees are also a very, cool, very critical part of our company. They, they, I always say when we have meetings, you know, they really are the company. I love my job now. I've, I've, I, like I said, I've known the Nunez is about 15 years. I've been working for the company for a little over two. We're a big company, but we're a family-oriented company. You feel like you're part of something. For Nunez, integrity and customer satisfaction are a cornerstone to their operations. Our word is very important to us. Whatever we promise the client, what we promise the client, it's important to us. We baby your lawn. Keep the grounds around your business looking fantastic. Visit www.nunezlawns.com. We're sharing some of the most inspiring designs and innovative buildings in South Florida and beyond. Who wouldn't want to live here? Or here, or here. Let's meet the experts at James Cross Incorporated who are here to inspire you. James Cross Incorporated is a fourth generation uh, construction company. We build custom homes and we also do interior remodeling. We like to do projects that are very challenging, stuff that people uh, don't normally don't see things that are never done before. We like the challenge. Over the years, we've found that every client is different and unique, and we take pride in being able to cater to their needs, whether that be a luxury, new construction home, a remodel, or a historic renovation. 
Today, we're at this magnificent home being built by the experts at James Cross Incorporated. One of the things we wanted in this house is we are less formal. There's no dining room, there's no living room. This is one 4,000 square foot space. No walls, one large room. So it's a deliberate thing and I think that it makes it more interesting. And Patrick and Gabrielle, you know, they like that look as well. So It's called deconstructivism. Our old house was like that. In our old house, the bottom, this, the bottom floor of this house is also a concrete floor, which was the same thing in our old house. But we did that 35 years ago because we couldn't afford anything else. <laughs> now it's a premium to have a concrete right. floor. <laughs> Very popular. Our goals for each project are to work with the client and make their dreams become a reality. We work with their budgets quite a bit and try to make sure that uh, we don't go over their budget. They understand that taking on a design and build project from scratch is a big decision. Value engineering at the start of a project and client involvement is key to a successful project. Value engineering a job, uh, it's important to get your builder involved from the very beginning uh, because they know what things cost. In a traditional format, you would have an architect um, you know, design something, draw something up, and then afterwards you would get a builder involved to then price out what has been drawn, and oftentimes those two things don't match up. Full-time project management and supervision is what sets them apart from most contractors. Our master crews are uh, critical to uh, the success of a project. We call them our blue crew. Uh, you always see them dressed in our, in our signature JCI blue. Uh, our uh, blue crew are uh, skilled trades guys that cover a wide variety of skills. Uh, carpentry, drywall, uh, anything in between, you name it. Uh, and really what they do is they do a lot of the uh, jobs on a construction site that our subcontractors won't attack. One of the models that we have in our company is uh, we build on trust, which is the best foundation. We try to, we try to really adhere to that and that, uh, you know, if you can trust your builder, I think that uh, you're going to get a good product at the end of the day and that's what we strive to do. When choosing a builder or a general contractor, uh, you want to choose somebody who's going to give you quality, service, and trust, and we provide that. To find out more about how the experts at James Cross Incorporated can build you the home of your dreams, you can visit jamescrossinc.com and designingspaces.tv or follow them on Instagram and Facebook. For more information on anything you've seen on today's show, or to be a part of the show, go to our website, designingspaces.tv.